Welcome everybody. Um, glad to have you back. Apologies for not uploading on Friday um, or getting the video ready for Friday at least. Um, life got in the way. Anyway, um, I've got an exciting episode for you today. I'm going to introduce you to my native instrument setup. Uh, some of you will be going, what, uh, what on earth is native instruments? Some of you will know native instruments very well. Um, Native Instruments is a company based here in Berlin and they make instruments, they make um, software for audio production, um, they produce incredible music samples, uh, they're just I would say one of the best, one of the best companies that I know of um, and it's very apt because they're based here in Berlin so why not support them, they're local, they're local company and they, they're just fantastic quality. So what basically happened is when I moved to Berlin, I purchased a very small mixing desk from Yamaha, uh, which is the MG10XU. I'll show you, show you that now. Um, basically, um, I just bought that because it was a relatively cheap uh, piece of hardware um, to, mix, to mix live shows and unbeknownst to me it was it's also a digital it was well it still is but unbeknownst to me it was a digital uh a digital mixing desk which means i could actually attach it to my computer and then use that to operate a an audio program such as cubase and um so anyway i, I did a few live shows and uh, with that purchased another uh, another mixing desk which uh which I still use to this day. It's a fantastic one. I'll introduce you to I'll introduce you to that in a new video. But um, I still have the Yamaha, and I use that uh, now with Cubase because Steinberg, uh, that the company that owns Cubase, um, has a, an affiliation or a partnership with Yamaha. So I was able to to download and, and install. Um, a license for Cubase which is fantastic so um, I have those two I, I downloaded Cubase I was playing around with it and then I said to myself you know what I really do need to have a controller in order to, to really get to learn how to use Cubase and of course the the, um, the connection they have with native instruments and uh, so what I went and did is I bought a uh, the I think it's the Mark One, uh, yeah I think it is the Mark One, the Compute Control uh, A49, uh, which I'll show you here. Um, the A49 is a, is a shorter shorter scale keyboard, not the full length, um, but just just long enough so I can still do a bit of um, a bit of left hand and then right hand. Uh, it's a great size and, and it's perfect for my use. Uh, the, there is a new model out, uh, which would be great, but it's like five, six hundred euros. It's quite a lot at the moment. So um, this one is absolutely perfect for my use, and um, it's great. It controls Cubase, controls native instruments, and it all works very, uh, very seamlessly together. Um, and then, in addition to the mixing desk, Cubase, and my A49, I bought some pre-Sonus monitor speakers so it's a beginner monitor speaker but again the price was relatively good and I will most likely upgrade them at some point in the future um, and then I'll be able to have a slightly larger capacity ones and I can use those two as well um, just for higher range they're great with high range but low end I need slightly bigger cones for low end the sound that I'm going to put in here is very experimental stuff which I've just been working on today and um, yeah uh, I, I hope that you that you um, that you like the video and um, that you've uh, had a sort of a, a decent chance to see what Native Instruments is about um, what we can do is actually go into a little bit more detail I'll do a little bit more like in-depth study of of the company and I can do a little bit more um, a little bit more of a of a of a of a sort of a knowledge uh, knowledge sharing video if that's if that's what you want. Uh, but let me know what what you guys want. Uh, what you want me to to have a look at. 
um, at some point or another I'll do a video on how Cubase operates and what I've learned so far it's a very powerful piece of software <laughs> um, but I uh, would love to show you what I've learned and um, yeah uh, hope you hope you've enjoyed this um, I'll see you next next time for for the for the following video I'm gonna start looking into the guitars that I've got here a little bit of a talk on, on what guitars I've got on the wall um, and then some additional equipment that I've got got here on the desk um, and then um, yeah we can start looking at playing around with Cubase and uh, start start creating some stuff anyway I hope you guys are well look after yourselves and uh, be safe and um, we'll see you next time for the next video take it easy bye for now